Hi guys, and sorry for not uploading for such a long time. In this video, we'll start creating a game, and this will take roughly five to six videos in order to complete it from scratch to actual final product. And this video will be kind of the more boring one because we'll cover the ERD, the database, and so on. And uh, hopefully you enjoy it. So let's get started. Maybe it would be good to start with the actual game idea before we head on to the ERD, the databases, backend, so on and so forth. So the idea for the game we are trying to create is a similar game in a sense to Pokemon Go because we want to create a GPS-based AR. So it will have some kind of getting a geolocation and then having some AR objects at these particular geolocations. And I won't really get into details, but that is the basic idea of the game we're trying to do. So we'll have some kind of a waypoints, tasks, which will build into quests. And then the users will complete these quests similar to popular MMOs like World of Warcraft or whatever. So in summary, it is GPS based AR MMO, <laughs> but uh, we will start very simple and we'll just have some quests and users. So let's first discuss what we need for the API, which would be the backend, and come up with a plan and maybe some tasks. I'll use Trello to keep track of them. To start off, we'll do a simple and fast ERD. We first have the users, which would have an ID, username, password, email, last login, description, date of birth, and profile picture. We'll need some way of tracking the progress of each user and keeping track of their in-game currency and so on, so let's just call it inventory. For now, it will be just an ID and balance. It will have a one-to-one -one relationship with the user, because one user has one inventory and one inventory has one user. So for ease, with the queries and everything, I will put the foreign key in the user, but I can put it in the inventory also, so it's kind of your choice. I'll reorder our tables to make it more readable. Next, we have the main event, the quest. To keep the video short and not bore you to death, I won't discuss the attributes from now on, but if you're interested, you can pause the video and ask any questions you have in the comment section down below. The quests have many-to-many -many relationship with the users, so we'll need to create a linking table. But we'll do all linking tables at the end. Then we have the task, which is kind of a sub-quest. And at first I thought doing it many-to-many -many with the quests, but that would mean lazy quests with repetitive tasks, and it would be boring, so let's just go for one-to-many. One quest can have many tasks, but one task is assigned to just one quest. So. The category is just ID, name, and description. Then we have a waypoint, which will have a many-to-many -many relationship with the task. Finally, we have the achievement and reward, which have many-to-many -many relationships with the user. The reward has many-to-many -many relationship with the quests also. I realize that's a bit stupid, so let's reorganize. The reward stays and it will have many-to-many -many with the user, but the many-to-many -many with the quest goes away and the quest reward goes in the linking table for the many-to-many -many between user and quest. So let's start covering linking tables. The first one, bigger one, is the user quest linking table. We'll call that one progress. So here we'll have ID, progress, and many other attributes which are linking to the actual progress of the user for that particular quest. Actually, we will introduce a new relationship between progress and task, which is going to be one to many. Well, maybe there is a much better way to do this, which is maybe fifth normal form or whatever, sixth normal form even. But for now, I just want to have an MVP, so let's deal with this later. So I have ID, user ID, quest ID, task ID, reward ID, status, start date, end date. Next, let's do something easier, the quest category. This is pretty straightforward, we just need an ID and the two foreign keys. And that's it, really. On to the next many-to-many, -many. task waypoint. 
This one will have, of course, ID, the two foreign keys, and interaction. And the last ones between users and achievement and user and reward will be user achievements and it will have ID, foreign keys, and then date of achievement. We will of course have one more table which will resolve the many-to-many user-to-user and we will call this relationship, which will basically serve to know if a person has banned another person, if they are friends, or etc. Now I will just attempt to fix some of the optionality mistakes I had made earlier and um, we have this. Okay, that's enough for this video and in the next one we'll set up the CMS, the DB and everything and then we will be onto the fun Unity stuff and connecting everything up, doing the API requests and uh, getting some data <laughs> maybe in for just examples and then filling the database and essentially hopefully publishing the game. I can't promise to upload regularly but I can promise to try. If you liked or disliked the video, please remember to give it thumbs up or down, comment if you want to discuss anything else, and please consider subscribing if you want to see how this progressed. Sorry for the huge pause in uploading, but I want to thank you all for watching my videos, for your interest in my uh, Python DB video, and I didn't expect it, and I really hope these videos are helpful to maybe some of you. Thank you very much, and goodbye.